just to let you guys know, we're headed to get our rental car. After a quick and simple rental car pickup, the Rhodes Rules family is now ready to load up and head out for our adventure. We invite you, along with us, to spend a full day exploring beautiful Costa Rica as we ascend to the rim of an active volcano, then stumble upon a roadside gym to enjoy the relaxing Pura Vida of Costa Rica. Let's go wonder! Gracias. to break into this episode for a brief moment and talk about POAS. We were not even planning to visit an active volcano, but POAS came highly recommended by our friends Wes and Jamie Barnett of Destiny Travel. Wes and Jamie are local travel agents here in our community. Be sure to check out the description below for links to their Facebook page and to their website. With their recommendation, we changed up our itinerary a little bit and decided to make as a must do on our way across the country. We'll be taking you along as we ascend 9,000 feet to peer almost over 9, almost 9,000 yeah. feet to peer over into an active volcano. It was awesome. But before we get started, we wanted to share with you a few things that you should know before you go. First of all, a little background information. Um, in Costa Rica, there are five active volcanoes and Poaz Volcano is situated in one of the most visited national parks. Poaz Volcano has erupted 40 times since 1828, with the last major eruption being in April of 2017. Uh, during this eruption, visitors and... Visitors the at the park and residents in the surrounding and area... All the surrounding areas. ...were all evacuated. It was a pretty major yeah. eruption. And then in September of 2019, the volcano experienced two just brief little minor eruptions. That was just six months before our trip. Yeah, which, which <laughs> kind of, you know, could freak you out a little bit. So let's talk about purchasing tickets and making reservations real quick. You must purchase tickets and reserve a time in advance um, on their website that we have linked in the description below. The cost for non-residents is $15 for adults and $5 for kids 11 and under. As far as driving to Poaz, it's only about 90 minutes from San Jose, the capital. Uh, it's a very easy drive. The roads are very good. Uh, we had a, a, a small vehicle. It was 4x4, four four, but we made it with no problems. Good paved roads all the way up there. And the website says you can get there even without a four-wheel drive. On the day of your visit, be ready to hike at the time indicated on your ticket. They don't joke. You, you better be there on time. 
it is recommended that you get there at least 10 minutes early because if you are late, if you're five minutes late, they'll leave you and you won't get to go that day. When you arrive, be ready to present your ticket and your passport. Weather conditions on POAS can change dramatically and quickly. It's not uncommon to make the trip to the crater and the entire thing be covered in clouds. In general, you wanna go earlier in the day because there's a better chance of seeing a clear view of the crater. It's also important to note that only about 20% of visitors ever get to see an unimpeded view of the crater. And we were very <laughs> lucky to be in that 20%. In addition, for your safety, you can only stay at the observation deck for about 20 minutes and then you've got to come down. Uh, the toxic gases that are constantly being emitted from the volcano, uh, the wind can change quickly toward that the direction of the of the observation deck. So they only give you 20 minutes, but they may even cut it off shorter than that. They're so very just serious. A, yeah, they're very serious about it. Then it's about safety. All the precautions. As far as things you need to take, make sure you wear comfortable walking shoes. Take a light rain jacket. And bring your own water. Uh, number four, you're going to want bug spray and sunscreen, which you're going to want that all over Costa Rica. And a little helpful tip, bring it from the country you're, you're traveling from. Sunscreen and bug spray in Costa Rica is incredibly expensive, but you're going to want it, so bring it with you. And bring your ticket and your passport. Just don't forget that. Yeah, well, your hotel or whatever. You're traveling, so yeah. bring your pass. You, you need to have your passport with you anyway. It's time to don our hard hats and ascend to Poaz. As we arrived on the observation deck overlooking the crater, we noticed these yellow circles on the concrete. We came to understand these were impact craters from the eruption of 2017 as rocks were sent hurtling through the air as projectiles, damaging multiple structures within the park. The largest volcanic bomb that we found outside the park was 50 kilos. As a result of the 2017 eruption, fallout shelters were constructed throughout the park to protect visitors in the event of another explosion. In addition, toxic gas detectors were installed and new security measures were implemented. While awestruck, at the otherworldly landscape before our eyes, we were haunted by the fact that this area could become deadly without a moment's notice. However, we felt very safe every step of the way because park employees worked diligently to ensure the safety of all guests. Hey, dead. Dead. Because the park is surrounded by dense cloud forests, only 20% of visitors have the opportunity to peer into the crater you see here. This encounter truly left a lasting impression on each of us. Seeing an active volcano was exhilarating and it really set the tone for our trip. If our first stop was this incredible, we couldn't imagine what more amazing adventures Costa Rica had in store for our family. We were thrilled to continue our journey.
after our amazing lunch at El Descanso, we descended into the lush, fertile landscape of beautiful coffee farms surrounding the base of Poaz. As we wound through the hills and small villages, we happened upon a familiar logo and decided to stop into one of the most relaxing afternoons of our entire trip. Simply by getting out and exploring new places, you can discover so many unique and magical experiences. Setting fears of the unknown aside, the world around you can expand your horizons and invite the richness all of life has to offer. Hacienda Alsacia, located on the lower slopes of the Poaz Volcano, is a 240 hectare farm which has become Starbucks Global Agronomy Headquarters. Interestingly, this coffee farm doesn't exist to supply Starbucks with coffee. Rather, through vital research and development on this pristine farm, agronomists and botanists work to help small coffee farmers worldwide grow more profitable and healthier crops, ensuring thousands of small family-owned farms have sustainable businesses while supplying our ever-growing passion to discover the perfect cup. Siphon coffee makers were designed in the mid-1800s in Germany because coffee connoisseurs believed boiling coffee killed the deep, rich taste of popular specialty coffees. This was our first, but certainly not last, experience with this method. Now, I'm going to start with the puro. This one is the traditional method here in Costa Rica, and we call it as Café Chorreado. coffee brewing is very popular in Costa Rica. While not too heavy or light, this brew method brings out the more delicate flavors hidden in lighter roasted specialty coffees. Ready. That's all. It's so easy and so good. The only experience we wish we could add for you is the amazing aroma which filled the cool, crisp air of this enchanted afternoon. With the sun setting on the Pacific Ocean horizon, our family couldn't stop talking about the day's adventures. From our trek to the edge of the majestic and unpredictable Poaz Volcano, to our spontaneous and relaxing stop at the world-influencing Hacienda Alsatia coffee farm, we could barely contain the mounting anticipation and excitement for the days ahead. Years of traveling to exotic locations and landmarks have taught us that often the best travel experiences are the surprise encounters along the way. For this reason, we always try to leave plenty of space in our plans to simply slow down and explore. Though we spent months preparing, researching, and planning this exciting adventure, we knew we wanted to take our time breathe in the fresh, oxygen-rich air of the tropical rainforests of the Central Valley and bathe in the salty sea breezes of the Guanacaste beaches. Along the way, we hoped to discover what Costa Rica could bring to us. From delicious local cuisine to spectacular vistas from atop mountains and deep within valleys, we were already struck by the raw beauty of this remarkable country. While our dreams had run wild leading up to this trip, we were now living in the midst of their reality, and our family fully embraced each moment. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our Rose Rules channel as we release a new episode each Monday at 6 p.m. Central. And remember, life is a journey. You hold your map. Yeah, Okay.